Okay, we are in operations. We are dealing with assets. And, well, there's, I mean, I may have been too quick about some of the hardware stuff. Um, the, there is hardware that we sometimes neglect to think about securing. Um, that we're not um, too sure of. Um, printers is one. Uh, I mean, printers, other than, uh, it used to be, you know, printers were great big things. It was hard for somebody to walk out with them under a jacket. Uh, now, that's not necessarily the case. We have uh, personal printers, portable printers, um, printers that print out on tapes, printers that print um, specifically uh, photograph size images. And, I mean, they can be, you know, fairly expensive printers, but they're small. Uh, they don't need to be big. Um, and so, again, you know, printers can be something that can be stolen, but uh, they are also things that uh, are computers. Uh, printers are not just receiving commands from the computer anymore. They have uh, lots of processing capabilities because we're generating images um, in certain formats that need to be interpreted. And so the, the printer has to have the processing capability, the memory, um, in order to do that. And now, increasingly, they are also network capable. So they can be attacked on a network basis. And of course, because the printer is something that we more or less automatically trust, um, and not only are they a point of attack themselves, but they can then be uh, taken over by an attacker and used to escalate the attack and to attack other parts of our networks, more secured parts of our networks, which may be trusting the printer, perhaps a little too much. So, you know, we need to uh, pay attention to those things. And, you know, printers are not the only things. Our uh, network routers, well, I mean, in the old days we would talk about routers and gateways and uh, that sort of thing. And nowadays everything is switches. And because they're switches, they've got a lot of processing capability themselves. And I... <laughs> One particular situation, I spend an awful lot of time, more time than I should, because I'm old, in health offices. And there's one particular office where, uh, I mean, they have guest Wi-Fi, but it doesn't work. Um, I don't know what's wrong with it. Uh, they don't know what's wrong with it. Um, you know, it's... It's not an issue for them. It's been out of commission. It, it's available. You can see it. You just can't sign on to it. Um, and so, okay, uh, that happens. But I can still get network access in their office because one of their routers is open, insecure. It doesn't need a password to connect to it. So you connect to that router and you're on the network. You're on the internet. Um, I don't uh, worry too much about that because, you know, they are supposed to be providing guest access and they can't. So, sort of the fact that they are uh, not properly securing their router uh, makes up for the fact that they are uh, not properly providing guest Wi-Fi. However, well... Uh, leave that as as maybe um, anyways the uh, but I 
you know, so there are these these other computerized pieces of hardware um, that we should be paying attention to. But I did promise you the other asset that everybody ignores, and that is your people. Um, people are an asset to your enterprise. You know, if you don't have the people, look, I mean, you we have we have backups. If you keep proper backups of your data, uh, your your systems, even if your office burns down and your uh, and computers all go west and all your computerized devices, everything, you know, is gone. If you still got your backups and your people, you still got a company. Uh, you can keep going. But if your people go, you're stuck. I don't care if all of your computers are still in place. All of your systems, all of your networks, all of your devices, all of your uh, computing resources are useless if your people are all gone. So, you know, consider that. Um, you know, if, you're, if your people go, you don't have a company anymore. You don't have an enterprise. Um, so it is the people that we need to protect. And I did, I think, mention when we were talking about uh, training, uh, Fred Cohen's um, book in security awareness. And the fact that it starts out by talking about the physical security of your staff. And of course, it's addressing your staff. It's talking to, say, your female employees about the fact that they keep their purse on their desk, beside their desk, all the time. And he says, if you go to the bathroom, take your purse, put it in a lockable drawer and lock it. Uh, just as a matter of course, when you leave your desk. And, you know, th these types of things are where you can start with your personnel security. And we talked about personnel security and security management. Uh, but, yes, I really should get on and hopefully I can fulfill my promise that the next clip will, in fact, be talking about personnel security. Securing your staff.